We've never been told more about the importance of socialising our dogs. And yet something seems to be going very wrong. Although we're all trying very hard to socialise them, they're becoming much more aggressive. And we're seeing more incidents of dog to dog aggression than we've ever had. So why is it that, that when we're trying so hard to socialise them, so many of them are ending up aggressive? Well, I think it's because we're not socialising them. We're just overexposing them. Let me give you an example. If you were walking down the street and you saw me coming towards you and I decided that I wanted us to have a social interaction, so I ran over, grabbed you and wrestled you to the floor, you would probably not think of that as social. You'd be calling the police. And I'd say, but I was just being friendly. Just being friendly. One of the terms I most hate here. It's all right. He's perfectly friendly. He's just being friendly. But that doesn't consider how my dog feels about it. So actually, when we socialise dogs, socialising should be kind of the same as us. It's a meet and greet. It's a, I say hello to you, you say hello to me. We go our separate ways and you then go, that Robert Lane, what a nice guy. Not, God, I wish he could keep sticking his nose up my backside. That's not social at all. So for me, when I take a dog out for a walk, at most, I want it to be social, which is a sniff, a sniff, nice to have met you, and on we go. One of the reasons they end up fighting is because we leave them together too long. And then they start to go, actually, I don't think I like the way you're sniffing me. Well, I don't think I like the way you're pushing me either. And the next thing it kicks off. We then separate them and reinforce in the dog. If you're uncomfortable with a dog you don't know, the best thing to do is have a go at it. So at most, sniff, sniff, time to leave. I don't encourage my dogs to interact with other dogs at all because I don't want to risk that interaction going wrong. But at most, if another dog comes over to my dog or a dog I'm walking, the most I want them to do is have a sniff and then walk away. And if you see a dog on a lead, it's on a lead for a reason. Leave it alone. Call your dog away. Keep your dog away. Put your dog on a lead if you have to. It may be on a lead because it's aggressive. And then your dog goes over to say hello and it attacks your dog. And you then blame the owner of the other dog. No, you should have kept your dog away. It may be on a lead because it's got a medical issue and it can't afford to have a dog jumping all over it. So just keep your dog away. They're sacrificing the rest of the park or the area to keep their dog on a lead. And they're saying, you can have all of the rest. I just want this little bit that my lead encompasses. But some people go, no, I want my dog to have that bit too. My dog's coming over there too. And you're going to have to put up with it. And if your dog doesn't like it, it's you and your dog's problem. Not me and my dog's problem. I came to the park for your dog to entertain my dog. Well, that's not how it's supposed to work. You chose to get that dog. I didn't ask you to get it. That was a choice you made. It's your responsibility to entertain your dog. So at most, encourage your dog, at most, if it's amenable to the other person and the other dog, to sniff each other, say hello, and walk away. That's what we should be doing. That, to me, is socialising. Anything beyond that is probably rude. Have a good day.